Have you ever thought about a trip to the Nouvelle Aquitaine? I think you should. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. Nouvelle Aquitaine is very versatile. It has the ocean, it has cities, it has the mountains. Join me on this road trip through the Nouvelle Aquitaine. Start off your road trip in Bordeaux, a fascinating city which might surprise you. Discover the sights of Bordeaux in a very sustainable way, in an electric tuk-tuk. Discover the fascinating brutalist architecture of the quarter Meriadec. The modernist architecture is perfect for a self-guided photo walk. You can also discover Bordeaux on a bicycle. Why don't you, for example, take a street art tour with this lady? A guided tour is a perfect way of discovering the city at your own pace. Then you have a place called Darwin. These former army barracks are now being used in a multitude of ways. There are cafes, there are co-working spaces, there's a skate park, a chocolate factory, and even a brewery. Apart from that, Darwin is also a paradise for street art. Fascinating place. When you're in the Medoc region, of course, you have to visit a vineyard. How about, for example, the Chateau du Taillon, a very traditional wine castle. It is a place where you can learn about the history and the wine at the same time. The castle is from the 18th century. The vineyards are mostly just next to it. The tour through the castle is a fun yet educating way of learning more about the wine culture of Bordeaux. It's more than a visit, it's an experience. I recommend you take the tour Keys of the Cave, which will show you the real treasures of the chateau. And then of course, there's the wine tasting. And then you should take a rental car and go see the Pyrenees. But wait, how did I even get here? Easy. Drive to the ski resort of Fabrèges and take the ski lift, which will take you really high up. Wow, what a panorama. Once you've taken the lift, don't miss out on the train, which gets you up even further into more beautiful places. This 
is the highest touristic train in all of Europe and it's a beautiful way of seeing the mountains. And after one hour of train, you will have to walk another 15, 20 minutes. And after the lift, the train and a little hike, you find Lake Artust. Not bad. Spend the night in this beautiful house in Arudi. Great hospitality. Now driving along these spectacular mountains through little stone villages past herds of sheep is already a big part of the fun. While you're in the Pyrenees, definitely go for some zip lining. For example, at the Great Parkour of Ura in La Runz. <laughs> it's quite the adrenaline boost, let me tell you. This is most definitely the best zip line I've ever done. The canyon is spectacular and my heart is pumping. I can't really film this because my hands are so shaky. Ah. And then after the mountains, jump in your car again. The Nouvelle Aquitaine has one more attraction to offer, the ocean. Biarritz is a great spot for ending this road trip through the Nouvelle Aquitaine. The heart of the Basque land is a place for beach life, shopping and amazing food. the old harbor for oysters and wine. Now I really enjoyed this trip to the Novella Aquitaine, but I also asked all the other people I met why you should also do this road trip. People should come in Nouvelle Aquitaine to experience the wine, to meet the people who produce it, and to taste the new way of life of uh, Bordeaux. You can see amazing urban architecture and street art and visit a really historical city center. People have to come to Nouvelle Aquitaine and also Valais because of this because it's very beautiful and you have a lot of things to do here. Bordeaux is one of the most beautiful cities in France, simply as that. La Nouvelle Aquitaine is really formidable, venez nous voir. People are also very great. <laughs>